Home to 50 boys and girls, Hythe Sea Scouts has stood in this position for around 30 years. Surrounded by open water, it's the perfect spot for the scouts to be at one with nature and to learn more about boating. But now this proximity to Mother Nature has taken on a different meaning for the scouts. Unfortunately, uh, back in 2014, in the February, the very bad storms, there was quite a lot of erosion of the coastline here, and uh, we lost a large lump of the salt marsh, which was protecting our site. So now, when the, uh, the winds are in the wrong direction and we have high tide, there's a, a vast amount of erosion takes place on our site. For example, in the last uh, three years, we've lost nearly three metres of coast of, of the, the mud bank adjacent to our site, and it's now threatening the, the, the boundary fence on our site. And the very next item on the list is the footings of our building so it's, it's quite a serious erosion problem that we have so we're having to raise the money to put in a, a defense system uh, it'll be basically a, a wooden a very heavy duty wooden wall that will stop the uh, the waves impacting on the on the mud bank it's essential that we actually we go ahead and raise the money and get the defense work in before we see the next round of storms otherwise we're going to lose quite a lot more of our bank they need to raise £80,000 to do these works and have been trying to reach their target in a number of different ways. We're doing all sorts of things. We've contacted lots of local companies to ask for some help and assistance. We've already completed some of our own. We did a sponsored cycle ride with the Scouts riding around the New Forest, which was very successful. Uh, we've had fundraising evenings, at a, quiz evenings at a local pub. Uh, and again raise some quite good money to help set us on our way towards the target we need to reach. We've had some really good support and it's, it's really nice to hear from, from lots of people, local councillors, that we're, that we're doing well. They want to support us, they want us to survive and succeed. So that's, that's great to hear. And, we, and we've got off to quite a good start so far. We're in the right way, heading the right way uh, and doing very well. The hut sits on a site of special scientific interest, meaning work has to be approved by Natural England. This added pressure raises the cost and difficulty of the project, but if the money isn't raised in time, the entire future of the scout troop will be thrown into jeopardy. The, the whole existence of the scout hut is under threat. The, the foreshore erosion problem that we've got is, is threatening the building, it's threatening our sewer system, so it's, it's critical that we raise this money, get these foreshore protection in, um, to make sure that we've got a scout up here and we can keep offering the great things we do to all these young people in the future. So why not simply move premises? We've looked at, at other options, but the, the fact is that this site is such a terrific look, uh, facility for, for the young people. We are right adjacent to the water, so the boating and general adventurous training activities can take place on our site. Uh, we, we also in, enjoy having the, the direct access to, to, uh, to the natural environment as well, which uh, assists in the education of the people. So we're very reluctant to lose this site and to move away. So when we, uh, we're, we're doing our best to protect it and prevent the, the, the erosion causing us further problems. The troop have raised 24 thousand pounds so far and they need the rest by next winter before the bad weather and high tides will come again. Rhea Barton for That Solent.